Hello everyone, this is uh, Antonio from Random Stuff, back again with another video, and uh, this is <coughs> my first attempt to um, to install uh, Marshmallow uh, 6.0 on my LG G3 D855 uh, international version. The recording that you see in the background is uh, pretty bad, um, but nevertheless it was the only way that I could capture the information here is, is I'm showing the, the files that I downloaded from the uh, website on XDA uh, that was written for the process to, to do this. Uh, there's a couple of ways of doing this, either via uh, flashing uh, through recovery or you can do it with the old, I think the KDZ files um, using the tool. But this method is a lot easier. Now the reason I made this video is because things went very bad and I uh, just want to show you what happened during my uh, following of the instructions and then how I uh, overcame them. So basically, you can see that um, you know I've downloaded uh, the files and these are the four steps that need to be uh, done. And in number four, it tells you in which order to install them, you know, the modem, etc. So I tried to uh, follow the steps uh, literally as, uh, as, as they um, were listed. But um, unfortunately, things uh, didn't go as planned. Now, because of this um, secure boot error message that I got, I, I searched it and, uh, and found that the, the solution was basically to reboot to, to up, uh, do a full wipe uh, again of data system cache and uh, Dalvik cache as well, then flash the system zip first, then the boot, and incidentally, I got the version two uh, of, of the um, of the boot instead of the the normal first one, um, and then after that, apparently this is really important, and this is what um, uh, fixed it for me. And you will see it later, later in this particular video here uh, was to put the permissive zip um, as a flash, and then to flash the 2.52 um, version of uh, Super User, the beta Super User. Um, because this is the only one that apparently worked. I had downloaded the newest one, which was 2.65, I think, but I ignored that and I just put 2.52 as per instructions. I flashed at the end of that the 3.5 um, sharpening mod, which you will see, and you know everything seemed um, to load fine. Um, it, it took a little while to, um, to 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 boot up, but you you will see it now coming up in the, in this video. So I'm just going to. Wait for the video to catch up. Okay, and this is fast forwarding. So, this is the error message that I was telling you about, and the blue and the, and the red flashing lights. So, at this point, uh, doing the search in various uh, forums, XDA and Google, uh, found that I had to do the other process, which included uh, applying the uh, the sharpening uh, mod there. Again, apologies for the very bad quality of the uh, video, but at least you just get an idea of what's going on there. You, you'll find other videos on YouTube similar to this, sort of. But um, this is what happened um, on my first attempt. So I'll just go through all of this uh, process there. Reboot. And this time I got the welcome screen for OG and um, everything is fine. In other words, uh, eventually it will come up with all the bits and pieces, you know, uh, country to uh, specify. Uh, it will just come up now, just a second. And uh, Android is uh, starting, 62 items there. And uh, slowly, slowly, it just goes through that. Just wait for that to uh, quickly load. I'm fast forwarding this uh, as I am adding bits of videos on top of other bits of videos with this rubbish camera that I've been uh, using. There you see, welcome to the um, LG, you know, the screen that we all know. Stop one. And this is uh, Marshmallow. Uh, now it's prompting me to connect to my Wi Fi if I want to, which I do. Then um, it's going to ask me to add a, a Google account. I also do in order to download all the applications that are backed up in the Google Play Store, which I think there are about 224. 
Um, one of the things that I will be making um, soon is the uh, video on exposed for Marshmallow for this device. Here you can see it's restoring my, my apps. Um, the screen stayed for quite a while, so fast forwarding this as well now. Then eventually I got to this bit, the legal documents and you know, bits and pieces. Some of the things that weren't installed and quick remote, FM stereo, uh, those. and that's your usual screen that you all know and you've seen on YouTube for Marshmallow version 6.0. Um, give it a couple of goes here, not a chance, impossible for me to do that. And fast forward in, as you can see, eventually you, can, you will notice that my quick remote was there installed, and I confirm it is. I proceeded to download all the applications. Uh, there was over 274 in the end, I believe. Uh, I've got lots and lots of applications. And the reason I, I have this many applications is because I can, and I have no problems with it. So that's it. That's uh, that's installed my marshmallow. It's working fine. Now all I need to do is uh, configure it, especially with the exposed. Thanks for watching everyone, until the next video, take care, cheers.